Well, it is a blessing and a pleasure to welcome you to the end of the fourth week of school here at the Oaks. It's hard to believe, but it's already been four weeks that we've been back together in person on this campus. And over the course of that time, it has been full. And it's been full with blessing and with joy. From our first day gathering and assembly out on the field, to math classes done in person, teachers actually sitting helping students, to discussions about great books, music lessons. Um, it has been a delight to be back together with you all. I want to thank you for making that four-week regathering time possible. It takes a ton of diligence for us all together as a community with new habits, new routines, masks, social distancing, monitoring at home, temperature checks, all of that. Thank you. We told you at the very beginning that you are the most critical part of maintaining our ability to gather in person. And we've made four weeks in, things are going really well, it's working, and so I wanna thank you for that. Since that first day, we've had the opportunity to have a lot of joy and time together. One of the cool highlights that's come out in that time is that we are um, anticipating having blazers for all of our 10th through 12th grade students. Those are coming soon and it will be a way for us to celebrate and rejoice in the 25th year of the school. We've been able to have one of the most beautiful back to school nights where we were able to share food together, uh, connect with our, parent, with our kids' teachers, and really enjoy uh, what turned out to be a God-given gift in that evening. We've not only had joys, um, but we've experienced some of the hardest days in this for first four weeks that we've ever had as a school. And that was, as you know, uh, the death of Joshua Kimball last week. But it strikes me that we've had these great moments of joy, these deep moments of sorrow, uh, because we're really about life together. And, and I just thank you for being a part of this mission with us, this life, this way of life that we're trying to pass on to our children. And ultimately, I'm thankful because we get to celebrate uh, a mission of the school. This school is about more than just what's happening in the classroom. It's more than just the homework. It's more than just getting a grade, as you know. This is about shaping and molding our children to embrace a whole way of living. That way of living is about loving God first and foremost, and as we love the Lord, loving our neighbor as ourselves. We've talked about it around here as praising God and serving others. And if anything, the chaos of 2020 has shown to us the importance of, as we do this, doing it all in a manner that teaches our kids to love and to have courage. Courage is so critical. We've proven to one another that it is really hard to think and live like a citizen in 2020. Whether we're talking about citizenship in the United States, citizenship in the state of Washington, or citizenship in the city of Spokane Valley or wherever you reside. That is hard, but it's just one part of acting like a Christian in families, in churches, in the state, in our work, all of these aspects. This is the way of life that we're working to teach. Our kids need us to intentionally teach them this way of life. And it was exactly this way of life that was on display in actually a beautiful way last week when we were able to tell the students, the 9th through 12th graders, about Joshua Kimball's passing. In that moment, gathered all together in the sanctuary with heavy hearts, aching hearts, we were able to all listen to Mr. Kimball Kurt Kimball, talk about his son, talk about his passing, talk about the Lord. We were able to hear from his pastor, John Smith, from Christ Our Hope Bible Church, and he was able to tell us and show us in the scriptures how to think through and process our grief in that moment. And we were able to do this as a staff, we were able to do this as a student body without separation. We were operating as a family. And we were doing so in prayer. We were doing so singing the cantabile songs that are so near and dear to us that suddenly had a whole new meaning. And the act of doing that was teaching a way of life where collectively 
we draw together before the Lord as a family, remembering, grieving, and yet also rejoicing in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. 2020 has revealed the importance of this way of life as being the central mission for the school, but also for our families. Next week, we have uh, parent-teacher conferences. I hope that you've signed up for that. If you haven't, there may still be a couple of slots available. You can find that in the office. Tomorrow is Joshua's memorial service. Uh, that's Saturday. It is at Christ Our Hope Bible Church, and it's at 11 a.m. In this email that you got this video, uh, there will be a link to the live stream if you can't attend in person, um, but we do encourage uh, folks who can make it to be there to support the Kimball family in this time. Next thing I'd like to share with you is that November is our open house month. In light of COVID-19, we're not going to be having one day that is an open house for anyone to just show up. Instead, we're going to call the month of November open house month. But we would encourage you to be um, getting ready and trying to identify folks that you think would be blessed to come and and see the operations at the school. It'll be a truncated form of an open house for sure, but it'll be a great exposure and an opportunity for us to communicate with others who we are. We have a program called Friends of the Oaks, and it's a way for you to not just support the Oaks in parenting, in all of the works of bringing up your children in the fear and admonition of the Lord, but also to participate generously through financial means. Friends of the Oaks is a monthly giving program um, of $100 or more, and we would love for you to consider being a part of that. If you've got questions, feel free to talk to me, uh, Mr. Bruce Williams, or you can get in the office a sign-up card if you'd like to do that. Two other items for you. First, the Christmas concert. We are still planning a Christmas concert because at this point, there's no reason not to. Um, so that's December 15th. Also, as we consider our community, prayer, is essential. And we have three specific times for folks to gather and pray here at the school, particularly parents or grandparents. On Thursday mornings, the ladies gather for prayer. There's women's prayer, 8.30 Thursday morning, and I um, encourage you to consider being a part of that. There's also for the ladies a prayer walk around the property right behind this gym building at 2.30 on Friday afternoons. For the men, there is a men's prayer group that will be starting this coming Wednesday. It'll be at 7.50 a.m. and it will be in the outer foyer of the sanctuary building. We hope that you can join us for one of those three prayer meetings. If you can't, please be lifting up the oaks in prayer. Finally, I want to thank our teachers for a great start to this year. Well done. It is a blessing to have you shaping our children. I want to welcome and thank Mrs. Ingrid Lavoy, Mrs. Holly Kim, Mrs. Mary Dowers, and Mrs. Melissa Love, our new teachers this year. Thank you for joining our staff and being a part of the work of the Lord here at the Oaks. I want to again thank you for being a part of this mission. I want to thank you for making it possible. And I want to invite you, if you have any questions as you're parenting or as you're um, working on homework or thinking about the school, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to your child's teacher, reach out to the office. Uh, we'd love to be able to come alongside and help you. This is a partnership and we're here to help you. And I want to close our time together in prayer. Father in heaven, we give thanks to you that you have given us children. Father, that we're able to see this little element of goodness in the land of the living. Lord, we depend upon you to pass off our love and vision for life that we have received from your scriptures and from you. Father, may our children love your word. May they love you. May they serve one another. And may you give us skill as we work together in a big family to do this. Lord, we ask your protection on our school. We pray that you would protect us from all the forces that would seek to disrupt what it is that we're about. And Father, we pray that your Son and your Spirit and Father indeed would be uplifted and honored in all of our speech and actions. Father, we thank you for this time in your name and amen.